Grace Walker, Social Media Coordinator with Cultural Academy for Excellence, CAFE. Um, tonight, our guest alumni is Tatiana Sindas, who's going to talk about um, her experiences as she started with CAFE and where she is now. Good night and welcome to you, Tatiana. Good night. Thank you for having me. Thank you for Thank having me. Thank you. Thank you for being with us. Tatiana, do tell us about your beginnings with CAFE and uh, your memories. What were some of the special highlights of your memories? Yeah, sure. So I started CAFE in 2006 um, during the summer camp. I was 10 years old. Um, I remember I started the program in a few weeks in the summer just to see how things would go. Um, my mom kind of just threw me in there. Um, but um, I joined the camp, learned some songs, met a lot of people, made it from the beginner band to the intermediate band, and then eventually wanted to continue during the school year. And I stayed there from 2006 until 2014 when I graduated high school. So I was with CAFE as a student for eight years, for eight years. So was the introduction to Steel Pan music foreign to you? Or tell us how you uh, acquired your Steel Pan or Steel Pan uh, music orientation? Right, so my parents are from the Caribbean. So my mother is from Trinidad and my father is from Jamaica. So I had heard um, steel pan music around the house and in family um, get togethers, but I had never really seen them like perform or um, really be around the environment until coming to CAFE. So um, definitely once I joined the program and I got into it, I really um, learned a lot about the steel pan culture and the music, how it's made, um, and then more about the, the West Indian culture as a whole as well, so. Can you tell us what were some of the highlight experiences of your CAFE um, tenure? Yeah, um, well definitely one that kind of pops in my mind at the top would be just going on a lot of different trips and performances. Um, I think that was a really awesome thing for um, me and my peers to experience as we were young, going around the city, around DC, man of Virginia, but then also you had the chance to go to different states and perform and experience those um, different areas and even different countries. So while, while I was a part of CAFE, we got to go to Toronto, Canada. And then I was also invited to come back after I graduated to go to Trinidad with CAFE. So I think that was one of my favorite parts of CAFE, just being able to travel around and see different different areas, not just here in the DMV. Um, I'd say another big thing that I really liked about um, CAFE is the way they really introduced us to different areas within education. Um, so whether that be with the tutoring or with arts um, or with robotics, um, also during my tenure, we had debates and mock trial. So it was really a great way to kind of get a different feel for learning different areas um, outside of school. So I'd say those are two big things. Would you say it was a compliment to your curriculum, your um, US high school, your US schooling curriculum? Yeah, definitely. Um, I'd say CAFE did a really good job um, with the different age groups, knowing kind of what we're learning and what um, could be missing. So they would kind of fill in the gaps a bit, um, but also just the extracurricular in general, um, supplementing our regular education in school. Um, and even being kind of our own school where we learn music, we learn how to read music, play music. Um, with mock trial, as I mentioned before, we competed against other Prince George's County schools in Maryland, which is kind of um, like an extracurricular in itself. So it was definitely adding to what we were learning in school um, in, a, in a new way, definitely. Given all of the um, experiences that occurred, was there anything that stood out more than uh, others, uh, as far as how it impacted you, 
whether socially or educationally or what was what would that be um i think just the way cafe kind of i would say maybe forced us to kind of come outside of our shell um so when i started i was extremely shy i still am a little bit but i was way like to myself i didn't want to say anything didn't want to talk to people um but with cafe and the different experiences that they introduce us to whether that be performing on stage in front of a big crowd or having a debate in front of a um, big audience and voicing your opinion trying to persuade everybody on your point or mock trial again um, acting as lawyers in the courtroom you have to be pretty confident in what you're saying so just um, I think that was another major thing that cafe really helped me with and I know a lot of my peers as well is just definitely bringing us out of our shell a bit um, building that confidence and enjoying the moment. That's exceptional. Um, as you progressed from CAFE, what was the opportunities that you felt your CAFE experience brought to your new environments? Right, so um, after CAFE, I went to university, so I went to the University of Maryland in College Park. Um, so definitely, I think CAFE really exposed me to kind of different, not just the Caribbean or West Indian culture, but all cultures, um, just since the DMV is so diverse. Um, so being able to kind of work with and um, kind of understand other people once of going into a big environment like a university. Um, and then also just learning more about my Caribbean and West Indian culture. Um, I really got involved in the Caribbean Students Association um, at university. So I think with that kind of background at CAFE, um, that kind of speared me into that leadership position at university and then kind of building a connection between University of Maryland and CAFE as well. So I think Definitely um, that confidence and those kind of um, building your acumen and learning about different people definitely helped. Would you then say that you played uh, an integral role in forming what would be partnering with a CAFE and the students at uh, Maryland University? I would say so in part, definitely. Um, while I was a part of the Caribbean Students Association, um, I made it a point to try and build a partnership with um, the CSA and um, the students at CAFE. So we brought tutors to come in from Maryland to, to help the kids at CAFE on Saturdays. Um, I know there were some other partnerships at Maryland as well, but with mine specifically, um, that was our community service outreach for CSA is helping um, the students as tutors for CAFE. That's, that's so interesting. And so now we're here, uh, 2020, and uh, you've got uh, a new role in the CAFE regime. Can you share <laughs> with us about that? Yes, so um, I never thought I would say this, but I am a board member of <laughs> cafe <laughs> thank you um it just it kind of came as a surprise to me that they would want me as a board member but i'm definitely very thankful for that and getting that experience um because i'm so young um but cafe definitely was important to me so um it's it i'm excited to be a board member um and hopefully i can continue to learn and hopefully make an impact that way as well um I still, as I said, I'm very young, so I'm kind of learning as I go right now, but being a part of the board is definitely a great way to be involved in now that I've been a graduate. And it is such a welcome asset, not only to have um, mm -hmm. a former student, but it's the representation to our other students mm -hmm. that the possibilities are endless for them. Definitely. In your own career span, what has been, um, where are you now, actually? 
Yes, so I graduated university in 2018, um, but now I'm a financial analyst for a broadcast media company um, that owns news stations around the country. So I'm, I majored in finance and international business in school. So I'm right in the realm of what I'm majored in, um, being a financial analyst right now. Well, Tatiana, the opportunity to have you share not only your experiences with CAFE, but also um, what you've continued to do in your role post CAFE is, uh, again, um, worthy of high applause and commendation. And, and you. you know, I know that the CAFE's um, team of leadership is so proud of you and so happy to have you continue in the role that you continue that you have with the board at this time is there any um words of in your words encouragement thoughts that you'd like to share with our audience as well as cafe um, students who who are now joining the program or, or at beginning the program yeah, of course. I mean, I was a part of CAFE for eight years and as a student, and now even after that, I'm still involved. So um, it's definitely been a, a long ride, but a happy ride and definitely influential to me as a person growing up. So to anyone who's a student or thinking to become a student or just be a part of CAFE in general, um, I definitely say take the opportunity um, kind of embrace it and take everything, learn everything because everything that CAFE is providing you, um, exposing you to, and just um, kind of building for you is really something that you'll look back on and really enjoy and be thankful for because it's, it's such a unique experience. And just after kind of being in the program so long and looking back, you know, I'm definitely thankful I spent those eight years and more with CAFE. Um, so definitely embrace it, enjoy it. And it's something that you'll definitely um, look back on and be thankful for. Tatiana, we want to thank you so much again for taking the time, for sharing the um, wonderful gems that you have provided us with in this opportunity to talk with you to know about your experiences early. And may I ask, at what age did you start CAFE? I started CAFE at 10 years old. At 10 years old. And um, so that to, to all of the aspiring 10 year olds out there who are gonna have an opportunity to uh, be a part of a CAFE environment, look at the, you know, look at the wonderful prospects that you have ahead of you with Tatiana's representation here today. So again, I want to say thank you so much on behalf of all of the CAFE team for your continued work and for what you continue to do within the CAFE community as also um, in the public as a representative of our community, of our Caribbean community, and our communities of Maryland University at large. Thank you again. It's been a very special and wonderful opportunity to talk with you. Thank you so much. I'm glad to be here. Thanks so much. <laughs>